All right, this is Jason with the Primal Outdoors channel. Today we're gonna to be doing a review on this tripod from Taika. All right, so in full disclosure, Taika did send me this tripod for a review, and I've been using it for a couple weeks uh, on a couple of trips I've been on, and it's quickly becoming my go-to tripod. And in fact, I'm actually liking this tripod more than the far more expensive Vanguard uh, that the camera that you guys are watching me on is sitting on now. So what I thought I'd do is we'll go over a few of the specs and, and, and how this tripod actually works, and also go over just a couple things that I have found uh, that I think could be a little bit better or a couple problems that I have had. So, you know, starting from the top down, basically you do have your typical uh, professional level style ball head. Uh, you got a couple different adjustments for, road, you know, moving your camera around, you know, it can go completely uh, portrait or, you know, you can, you know, rotate it around or twist it in any uh, shape you have. I've had this tripod out in a few situations that have been fairly dusty, yet the, the movement of the ball head still seems very smooth and I, I'm completely satisfied with it in that, in that manner. You also have a typical adjustment here where you can rotate, uh, rotate the ball head and do pans. Uh, and again, it feels very smooth. I'm, I'm completely satisfied uh, with, that, with that adjustment. Uh, another thing that I do like is that the ball head itself uh, does have a bubble level on it, so that's kind of handy for adjusting your camera and making sure it's level. And the quick release system on the uh, on on the ball head is a pretty typical quick release system. In fact, it's the same uh, style quick release system as my Vanguard has. So I had to make no changes to any of my cameras or change out any of my plates. I was able to uh, basically just adapt all my cameras right onto this uh, onto this ball head, no problem. Of course, it does come with a quick release plate, but I didn't have to buy any extras for my other, for my spare cameras. So anyways, uh, that part I like, uh, but you know, fairly typical stuff. Uh, moving down into the legs, uh, the legs are a pretty heavy duty anodized aluminum. Uh, they seem very sturdy. I've had this camera sitting in a flowing stream with my Nikon D850 on it, which is a $3,300 body. Uh, I had no concerns. The tripod was very sturdy, and and uh, and I like I said, no concerns there. Uh, it seemed to work well. One of the things I am really liking about uh, this tripod is the adjustment in the legs. Most tripods have a little flip lever. Uh, that you release and then you can adjust the leg out and then you flip the lever back down. This just has a quick quarter turn and you can see I can just quickly adjust and get the tripod back to whatever, whatever length I need it. It's, the more I use it, the more I'm getting used to it and the more I'm actually liking it as far as being able to adjust the tripod and get it to uh, adjust to the terrain that I want or the height that I want very easily. And again, with the leg adjustments, uh, another thing that I'm really liking about this tripod is the thumb lever uh, release here. This allows a lot of articulation in the leg. I can actually even put the tripod upside down and have the camera upside down for extremely low shots or close up shots uh, for like macro or whatever. But again, it's just very easy to adjust and it does have some nice, easy locked in positions to get it just exactly uh, where you want it. So I, uh, again, these are a couple of features that I think that they've done very well and make the tripod very user friendly. Another thing that, that for me personally, and may not be for everybody, but for me personally, I really like about this tripod is they gave us the option of two center posts. Uh, this center post would allow you to extend the tripod as high as 5.4 feet, uh, but they also, as you can see that I've got in here already, 
they provided us a smaller post. And I personally really like the small post. It's the one that I keep in the tripod uh, pretty much 24 seven because most of the shots that I do uh, are low to the ground. They're either chest level or low to the ground. And the problem that I find with typical tripods that have a long post in them is when you try to get those low to ground shots, you adjust your legs out and, they're, and you can get it down low, but that post is sticking down and it makes it very difficult. So then you end up having to slide the post all the way up and you're not getting as low as you want. Now there are some tripods that have some mechanisms to combat that. And my Vanguard that you're sitting on actually does have an, an option that gives you some, uh, some adjustment over that, but it's kind of a pain to use to be honest. And I hardly ever use it. And for the most part, until I got this tripod, I used to run and go get my little Joby flexible leg tripod for any low, low to ground shots. But with this tripod, with this uh, center console, uh, I'm, I don't have to do that anymore. So I really like that. And it kind of, for me, makes, it, uh, makes my workflow go a lot easier. If I did want to though, I could really extend this tripod very high because uh, with, your, with the parts and stuff that you get with your tripod, you get a little stud that you can screw into the bottom of, your, of the shaft here. And so you can actually screw the two shafts together and then put it in there and you can get a lot more length out of it. Uh, so you could just, whoops, sorry. You could just put this in your uh, backpack and have it with you if you really felt like maybe you might need to extend the camera pretty high. Another thing you can do if you're using the short shaft and you have uh, this stud in here, and you don't have to have this, you can actually just unscrew the ball head from the uh, shaft altogether. But a nice feature that this tripod has is this one leg here actually screws completely off and you can now screw the stud right in there and now you have a monopod. So that's gonna be really handy. It's something that I'm not used to and I have to be honest, I haven't used it a lot yet because I'm just not used to having it. But I, I envision myself being able to, as I'm hiking, be able to strap the main body of the tripod onto my backpack, allowing me to have it with me. But while I'm kind of hiking through, if I see certain shots that I want, still be able to have the convenience of having some stability instead of going completely handheld. And I'm quite confident in these legs being strong enough that I can actually use this tripod or, or monopod as a walking stick. Um, I recently climbed a mountain and even though I didn't have it in monopod mode, I did use this tripod uh, quite often when walking up a glacier as a hiking stick and it did, uh, definitely helped a lot and it felt fairly, really sturdy and I had no concerns. <laughs> Again, kind of talking about the durability of this tripod. So putting this all back together, um, Again, very easy twist turn pull, to pull that in and out, makes it very quick and easy. And then again, the leg being able to go inside, you know, screw on. Just gives you again, a lot of flexibility with this tripod. And, and I'm really liking that. And the fact that I know that I have one tripod that basically can do everything that I want. Now, <clears throat> a couple things about the thing that I have had some issues with. This tripod is designed so that the feet uh, can unscrew. So you can unscrew the feet, the rubber feet, and screw in a stud if you're on ice or rock or something like that and you want to use the stud. Uh, the only problem I've had with that situation is me, I typically only use the rubber feet, but I've had a couple times uh, when transporting this tripod or you know, just getting it in and out of the truck, things like that, that these feet might get loose and I don't notice. And I actually had one of the feet completely unscrew, but I was lucky enough that I was able to retrace my steps and find it. So I think what I am going to actually do is, um, is uh, thread lock these feet so that they don't come out, but uh, for me personally, but that's kind of been an issue. And then one quality control issue I had with this particular tripod is this knob here on the tripod actually unscrewed completely out. And it was, and the way it's designed, uh, it should not have done that. They should have used some thread lock or something uh, to lock when they screwed it in. It should have been thread locked in so that you still had the adjustment, but it wouldn't actually come out of the ball head. So I, I fixed that. I did use some thread lock on that and fixed that little issue. Uh, 
So with that, that's really the only issues that I had. The only other thing, minor thing that I did notice is when I was in a really dusty situation, uh, when I would twist these uh, turns, I could feel some dust and dirt inside here, some grit, but it never stopped working. They still unscrewed and everything extended fine. And, but I noticed that once I, uh, you know, I used the camera in the stream a couple times after I was in that dust, it must have washed out the grit because now they're not, there's no grit in them at all and the, and the tripod seems to be working fine. So uh, if you did get this tripod and you notice some grit in there and you want it, you maybe just kind of, you know, shoot it with some jetted water or something like that would probably take care of it. But that, uh, I noticed that just having it in stream, uh, the thing is moving uh, quite easily. This tripod, you know, like I said, there is a couple minor issues, a couple little quality control issues, but if you consider the fact that this tripod is $100 versus the, the uh, Vanguard that you guys are sitting on, which is $280, that's a $280 tripod, uh, I, I think this is a hell of a deal, um, quite honestly. I think it's a great deal, and uh, I'm really happy with the tripod so far. And I don't foresee that uh, anything's going to happen that's going to change that because it just, everything about it seems pretty robust. I do think that, you know, all in all, like if I had to rate both tripods, my Vanguard that you're sitting on and this one, I would say the Vanguard is probably a little bit better tripod um, and just marginally. But again, you know, you're, you're looking at $180 difference uh, between this one and that one. So for me, this one is definitely, uh, I'm very happy with it. So anyhow, uh, what, last uh, but not least, it does come with a cover, you know, so you get a, a nice cover. I, I never use this, but I brought it out for the, the purpose of the video. And uh, yeah, it's a great tripod. So look down if you're interested, if you're you know, a photography guy and you're looking for a tripod, uh, look down in the description. You can find the link down there. If you found this video helpful, please give it a like. If you have any comments or questions, please leave those down below and I'll catch you guys again outside.